Um, look, before you say anything, I just wanted to say... Don't I'll say anything. I didn't come down here to listen to you wallow around in your own self-pity. In fact, I didn't want to come down here at all, but I realized sooner or later I was going to have to face you. So I spent the whole night wondering what I would say to you. I don't know if you know it or not, but I spent the night in the hospital wondering whether or not my daughter was going to pull through major surgery or whether I'd ever hold that beautiful little girl in my arms again. And so I... And I realized something. I realized that no matter how hard a parent tries to protect his child, he cannot protect that child from some drunk who only cares about where he's going to get his next drink. Tom, if I, if I could change places with her, I... Oh, please. I would, please, they're just words. They're just empty words. The reality is you can't change places. Alcoholism is a disease. And what you choose to do with your life and your disease is your choice. But it does not give you the right to drag some innocent person along with you. People that have diseases go for help. And I think everybody's just been too easy on you. And I wonder what's going to happen to you. I wonder what's going to happen to you. Your life. You as a human being and how you're going to live with what you've done. That last statement was a ploy to get sympathy from me. I want you to know that it is in very short supply. No. No, I don't want any sympathy. I just want you to understand that I didn't ask to be an alcoholic. It's not like I had a choice. You have a choice. You have a choice whether to give in or fight your disease. Now, I know John and Kim think they're doing you some big favor by keeping you in here overnight, but the best I can figure, it gives you the opportunity to run away from the consequences of your self-destructive action. It gives you the opportunity to make no choice at all. No, excuse me. I have made a choice. I asked Julie to call Dr. Matthews so I could try to get into a detox program. Well, you're scared now. You have to spend all your time trying to get back into everybody else's good graces. Well, guess what? I've heard your promises before. And even if they're made out of sincerity, I know the first bump in the road, Andy's promise is out the window. No, it's going to be different this time. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You don't know what it's like to try to kick an addiction. Don't you tell me! I know what it's like from the inside. When I came back from Vietnam, I took a big-time dive into major drugs. I didn't like this world anymore. I couldn't figure it out, so I ran to drugs, and I put my mom and dad through absolute hell. And my mom had to cover for me more than once. No, so don't, don't tell me that I don't know about the cesspool that an addict puts himself in. And don't tell me that I don't know how tough it is to climb out of that before you drown and pull your friends and family in with you. Pull myself out of it, Tom. And after I do, I'm gonna do everything I can to make up for what I've done. Just forget about that. I gotta tell you something, Andy. As DA, I'm not gonna take it easy on you. Even if you are family. You know why? Because I have an obligation to this community. I have an obligation to the people that elected me. And as far as I'm concerned, you are just as dangerous as some kook on top of a building taking pot shots at innocent people on a crowded street. Last night it was Leanne. Who's it gonna be next? What's gonna happen to me? What's gonna happen when I go before the judge? I couldn't even speculate on that for you. I think you should be concerned about something else. What kind of choices are you going to make? Because you're lucky. You still have a choice.
is more than you gave Leanne when you plowed into her on that highway last night. You think about that. Father, I'm not going to press charges. I don't want Andy to go to prison. Well, it's out of our hands. The state has a duty to protect all its citizens, and if Andy pleads innocent, the case may go to trial. Well, what if Andy pleaded guilty? Well, then the judge will mete out punishment at the hearing. Oh, Father, please. You've got to ask the judge for leniency. I'm sure he'll listen to you. I'm not sure Andy deserves leniency. Not because he's responsible for you being in here. It's time that he wakes up before it's too late. Presenting you, Mr. Dixon. Uh, Jessica Griffin, Your Honor. Uh, she should be here any minute. Well, in that case, we'll delay these proceedings until she arrives. Because the state is presenting some very serious charges against you. 